problem is flood water is really dangerous and emergency services around Australia continue to see people driving through flood water despite warnings not to. We want to understand why people are doing this and what we can do to prevent this behaviour. So with the project funded by the CRC, what we've done is look at our data set that we have at Risk Frontiers called Peril Oz, which has um, many of the events, natural hazard events in terms of fatalities and injuries and building losses since European settlement, but it's considered very complete since 1900. And the great thing about it was that it had the names of many of the deceased. So that's enabled us to go and look in the coronial files around Australia and pull up the files on each of these fatalities and look at the circumstances around that fatality. And so we've done an analysis on all of these deaths over the last 115 years, and that's 1,859 deaths. And within that, we can see distinct trends in terms of gender. So there's 80% of these fatalities are men. Also in terms of the age ranges, we see that the majority of fatalities are less than 29 years of age. And also in terms of what these people are doing. So most people die while they're en route to a destination. Where data is available, we can see that most of these people are on their way home. We also see a high numbers of people recreating, particularly among sort of, you know, those under 10 and those under 19. So we're seeing all these trends in the data, and with that, we've then been able to provide this information to the SES. So we were able to use this research as part of an Attorney General funded national project, which involved emergency services from around Australia and the Bureau of Meteorology and Attorney General's Department. And we're lucky enough to have Risk Frontiers on the working group to inform our evidence base on what we could do to make the safest decision, the easiest decision.